I've wanted to play Luigi's Mansion for a long time. I watched many Let's Plays and walkthroughs, and always wished I could really pick up the game. I had a Wii, but I didn't have anything GameCube related, so I never beat it until now with the 3DS version. Was it worth the hype, or was it a massive disappointment? Luigi's Mansion's story starts by revealing that Mario has gone missing, and Luigi has to save him. To do this, Luigi has to explore a haunted mansion and use the Poltergeist 3000 invented by Professor E. Gadd to suck up all the ghosts haunting the mansion. The interesting thing about the story is that it slowly opens up throughout the adventure by giving Mario's items to Madame Clairvoya. Overall, I think the story ties into the game's overall design. The same theme plays throughout most of the game, but it never seems to get old. The music also helps to establish the dark and scary atmosphere. The act of slowly unlocking and moving about the mansion is really fun, but I feel like it takes a hit with the adventure segments of the game. The game is mostly very linear, almost every room contains a key that unlocks another room. But the segments where the game wanted me to do something that wasn't highlighted on my map troubled me slightly, but not significantly. The combat is really fun in my opinion. It almost feels like reeling in a fish the way you have to push the circle pad around and try not to lose the ghost. The pressure is increased during the battles with the portrait ghost, where if you lose them, you lose pearls, which impacts your rank at the end of the game. Also to mix up the combat are the boos. 50 of them are scattered across the mansion. They are found after you turn the lights of a room back on. The boos are different from other ghosts because instead of locking onto them, you have to follow them around the room. This can be a welcome challenge, but it gets kind of annoying when one keeps going in between rooms and you have to follow it around. Another small flaw with the game is the controls. I played Luigi's Mansion on my new Nintendo 3DS XL. With the new 3DS's C-Stick, you can play similarly to how the GameCube controller works. In the standard control option, you control where Luigi is facing with the C-Stick, and you move him with the control stick, or the circle pad on the 3DS. Although I used the C-Stick on the 3DS, I preferred using the gyro controls. These controls are similar to the game's sequel, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, also on 3DS. Speaking of Dark Moon, the strobo flashlight model returns from that game, Although this feature wasn't present in the original, and because I wanted the authentic Luigi's Mansion experience, I hardly used it. I really like how this game uses a kind of organic yet linear world design. It's not linear like using a world map, but it's not open world. It uses a lock and key system to allow for a more cohesive world. You can feel the mansion opening up, just like how the story opens up. Luigi's Mansion isn't a long game. I beat it in about 7 hours, with about 5 and a half of those hours being a ton of fun. The excluded hour and a half was me trying to find the 50th boo, which I never did, and trying to progress during the adventure segments. There's also a hard mode, which I haven't beat yet, so I can't say much on that other than is unlocked when you complete the main game. The graphics look nice, with detailed and pretty textures. Also, the game runs at a relatively smooth 30 frames per second. This was relieving because while Dark Moon's frame rate was decently smooth, it did drop in large areas. It had me worried about this remake, but overall things ran quite smoothly. I was also a bit nervous about the mansion being a bit too bright and ruining the eerie atmosphere, as in Dark Moon. But while it is slightly brighter than the original, it wasn't much of a problem especially with the brightness setting the game gives you. Luigi's Mansion is not a disappointment. Fun gameplay, a cohesive world, and organic progression make Luigi's Mansion a fantastic 3DS game. I give Luigi's Mansion a 9 out of 10.